Alright, welcome back everybody. I'm gonna continue on with the, the dialogue. Okay, let's go meet the professor for some reason. Hi there, I've been waiting for you young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Stereotypical Professor who's easily forgettable. Juniper, we know your name. Come on, Sharon, this is not the time to take things lightly. Today is the day to remember always, so it's uh, best to behave with some formality. That being so, once again, my name is Juniper. I'm researching how creatures called Pokemon came into existence. Oh, that's easy. They came down on the, uh, uh, the meteor at uh, Mount Moon. Oh, that's unusual. You already had a Pokemon battle, so that's why. It feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. By the way, would you like to give your... No, I don't want to give it a nickname. I'm just gonna cook this pig into bacon using its own fire. You aren't planning to use a nickname? Well, that's fine, too. That's why I gave you all your Pokemon. It's for the Pokedex, right? Pokedex? I'm astonished. Nice work. You've already studied Pokemon extensively, so let me explain everything from the beginning. The Pokédex is a high-tech device, yeah, we know what it is. So I want you three to visit many places and meet all the Pokémon in the Unova region. Uh, this is my request. You'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokédex, will you not? No. Here's what, you, here's what I need from you. What I want to hear are the courageous words of people who will blaze a new path around the world. I want you three to travel to meet ma uh, many distant places to meet all the Pokémon. No. Here's what I need from you. What I okay, so why give me a yes-no decision if I'm forced to say yes? Okay! Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer exactly as I've wished. All of you, thanks! You've given me the best possible answer. Okay, obtain the Pokedex. Next, teach you how to meet Pokemon. Uh, please meet me in Route 1, okay? So, she wants us to catalog... Since the professor asked us, it's okay, right? I can explore and find out what I want to do in life. I think I'd like that. Of course. We can travel however we want while we complete the Pokedex. You know, this is... I guess I can complain less but because at least now I have a directive. Once again, I'm supposed to fill out the Pokedex, but... This is a total ripoff from the Kanto region, which I was just at. Professor Oak did it first. He did it right. No need to repeat. Hey, PF Novels, wait up. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, there you are. And what did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex? I can't believe it. Well, neither can I. Well, actually, I can. I already knew she was going to ask. That's why I brought these three town maps. Take them with you. All right, so my town map just got replaced over here. I put it in the key. Why is it always telling me, like, I'm putting it in this case, I'm putting it in that case? Why can't it just say, you picked up the town map? Because that's going to take up extra time. Here you are, Sharon. I'll take good care of it. As you guys probably could tell by now, I am super biased against this region. And here's for you, Bianca. Thank you so much. As for your room, PF novels, or what's left of it, no need. I'll take care to tidy up. I'll do all the boring stuff while you do fun things, you irresponsible child. Alright, with Pokemon like that at your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. I'll let your parents know. I hope in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots of places like you in the no Unova region and become wonderful adults. Have a great trip! Okay, so the reason I'm being silent right now is I am shocked to my core that Bianca's dad is just letting Bianca go. Like he said a thousand times no, and Bianca just said, Ah, it'll be okay, and just walked out of the room anyway. And none of the adults are saying anything. Like, Bianca's dad, he's not... He's not the crazy person here. He is the only sane person in the room right here. If I use the town map, I'll always know where I am. That's certainly helpful. Gosh, you think, Sharon? Shall we head to Professor 1? The Professor's waiting. Or, Route 1. Professor 1. Hurry up and come too, okay? Okay. Up, oh, and they just teleported. Alright. PF Novels, it's this way. Yeah, I know. It's, a, it's the only passage out of town. Bianca says if we're starting a journey together, she wants us all to take our first step at the same time. Hey, let's all take our first step on Route 1 together. Don't equalize me with you! Oh, I wonder what'll happen. This is so exciting. Yeah, I bet you'd be excited to see... You're easily impressed, Bianca. You'd be like, oh, look, a Radita! Look how exciting! It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. Professor Juniper, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. The Pokedex's pages update automatically. Well, then why are we going around if the Pokedex is already completed? We are completely useless a-holes because, at least in the first region, we were the ones completing the Pokedex. Like, we were the ones who wrote in the entries, updating it. Now, it's like automatically... Okay, maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe it was automatic with Professor Oak as well. But then what's the point? 
you know, why even have somebody, like, go around with a Pokedex if you already know exactly what's going into it? Did you see that? Uh, I just caught a Pokemon off screen. Okay, and wrap it up. Uh, gifts from Pokeballs. Okay, well, not gonna need any more Pokeballs unless I see a shiny Pokemon, but... Eh, uh, good luck with that happening. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll see you later. She forgot to say that Pokemon jump out at you in tall grass. <sighs> this is amateur hour. I thought of something fun. We need to get going. Would you listen for a sec? Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to catch some level 2 Pokemon now that I've got like level 30, level 40 ones. Yeah, no thank you. Let me just do what I want to do. Alright. I get it. I mean, whenever there are new people starting a Pokemon game for the first time, you know, they need this amateur hour stuff. But, I mean, come on. I've been through two regions now. <sighs> this is not my first time playing, so I shouldn't be taking um, personal offense to this. I really shouldn't, but I don't know, whatever. It makes the game more exciting. Okay, how about a PF Novels? Do you want to compare which of us has Pokemon? Yes, because I can't walk past you unless I say yes. What, you only have Tepig? If you don't catch any Pokemon, won't Tepig get lonely? Oh, I only have 54, well, 58 others at this point. Uh, okay, not that many, but I'm close to 58. I'm off to Accumulatown. The professor is waiting. Extransiever. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click, 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 click. Hello, how is everybody doing? Your Pokemon are getting along great, right? Oh, professor, I'm in front of the... Uh, Accumulus Center. I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted by the chat right now. Sex. Oops. Sex. Lol. M. Pug. <laughs> oh, the Pokemon Center, right? Look at this. Hee 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 hee. Oh, I wonder what's gonna happen. Hey. I hate everything. And, oh, oh hey everybody. I'm a uh, stereotype professor. Okay. Okay, see you. Well, I'm going on ahead. Yeah, I am a throwaway uh, professor. Everybody gawk at my genericness. Alright. Ah, there you are. Traveling with your Pokemon is a joy. Look how great Pokemon are. Buy all the Pokemon games. This is such amateur hour. I'm not even going to read through this stuff. So basically, here's what's going on. Um, she's telling you, hey, talk to that lady because it's absolutely free to heal your Pokemon. That didn't take any damage. No, socialism, everything is free. Communism, everything is free. Only it's not. I mean, somebody's paying for all this free stuff. Anyway, so now that we've healed my Pokemon, this is where you put your Pokemon whenever you're done with them so that you can leave them to rot, just like the last 50 I captured. Okay, so, and then also, for whatever reason, we decided now we're going to combine the stores with the Pokemon Center. So, you know, look, here, you can totally buy a couple of basic level things in the store. This is why I took my time and bought a couple of high quality items before coming to this region. Okay, can I leave? Ooh, what should I buy? Potions and Pokeballs, hmm. Yeah, okay, you, you have fun with that. I'm going to get my real Pokemon now. Alright, so get rid of this Piggy Piggy. Uh, go on. Oh, right, I have to switch it out. Alright, so I'm putting Zongoose at the head of the party again. I'm going to give him another chance. And uh, I can't use Arcanine just yet, but once I get my first badge, she's going to become the star of the, the show here. Uh, let's bring out Farfetch'd as well. And, eh, I don't know, I guess I'll, I'll bring Lotad for, er, El, El Ombre for good measure. Alright, so that's that. Um, I, I guess I could give one of them an amulet coin, but there's no, no point. Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a look-see. Alright, well, I can tell what's going on here. PF Novels, come here a sec. <clears throat> My name is Gedesis. I am here representing Team Plasma, yet another team in Pokemon. That's not a tired old concept. Today, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Huh? What? I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? No, not really. Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume this is the truth? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm obviously an outsider looking in. Here in the real world, we don't have any Pokemon, and we get along just fine with our horses. Alright, Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. Yep, they get pushed around as um, when they are our partners, quote, at work. 
Can anyone say with confidence there is no truth to what I'm saying? Yikes! No way! I don't know! Uh, really? People? You've never thought about this before? Like, this is the first time anyone has ever considered this in the Pokemon world? No, I, I, I don't buy it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings? What could it be? Liberation? Really? Somebody in the audience already asked liberation? So they know what he's gonna say. People have thought about this before. That's right! We must liberate the Pokémon! Then and only then will humans and Pokémon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you consider the relationship between people and Pokémon, and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Okay, so uh, yet another reason why this game pisses me off so much is because I had this idea before, and I'm sure somebody had this idea before I did, but in 2008, I had this idea of people saying we shouldn't use Pokemon anymore, although they're secretly using Pokemon themselves. They just want to take it away so they'll have all the power. Uh, about that speech, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. That's like trying to take away all the guns in America. Not gonna happen. Okay, so... am I free? You're Pokemon. Just now it was saying... Slow down, you're talking too fast. And what is this thing about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. No, it's not. And my name is Charon, and this is PF Novels. We are just asked to complete the Pokedex, so we left on our journey. My main goal is to be the champion for some reason. The Pokedex, eh? So you're gonna confine many Pokemon to Pokeballs for that. Yeah, we're pretty much slave drivers here. I'm a trainer too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Eh, probably not. Well, PF Novels, let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Okay. I'm totally upfront with, you know, admitting that my Pokemon are just thralls to my will. Alright. <laughs> a level 5 Zoro versus level 19 Zongoose. Yeah, um... I think I'm going to be one-hit KOing everything for as long as I keep Zongoose in the party. Like, as soon as it takes more than one hit to kill something, he's going back in the box. Uh, whatever you do, replace that Dragon Dance with another move. Get off your bike and walk with us. wonder why those people are communicating normally. I never expected Pokemon to say such things. What things? As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, they will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. Okay, well, you're an op optimist, aren't you? Huh, strange guy, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out! Really? How am I helping out my Pokemon? You know, they have served my needs and that's it. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Citrion City. Aim to be a gym leader after... Af aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Okay, plot, you done now? Am I free? Jeez, that took up almost this entire video right here. Why am I going back to the Poke Center? My Pokemon aren't even injured. Alright, you know what? So in the next episode, uh, I guess we'll continue with this. Man, this region is plot-driven. It's just... I wouldn't even mind the plot so much if it weren't so... <sighs> Alright, I'll... Screw it. I, I can't even think right now. This region's making me dumber. I'll see you guys in the next episode.